Today we're going to put together a couple of fuel cells, uh, show everybody kind of the basics of what's going on here and uh, how it's done. Travis is going to clean them out for us. They're going to stuff some bladders in. The pickup uh, box inside this fuel cell goes down in the right rear corner of the cell. What we want to do to start with is kind of fold this thing up and uh, stuff it down in this hole. And wrestle it down in there. Okay. So let's make sure there's no, no crap inside this thing. Just a little bit. Just clean that, that bladder out real good. We're going to put this piece back in here around the box. The hose on top? Or, oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, so I'm going there. Okay, we're going to look at the next piece. Like right there. That one in there and, and uh, kind of figure out where that hose is going to want to lay. It comes up in the center of this piece. 
So if you put that in there, you see you need to cut it, and let's cut a little place out for that hole. Just kind of we want to make sure that the uh, gaskets are in good shape. Uh, there's a gasket between the uh, metal can and the bladder and one on top of the, the uh, metal can. So there's two gaskets that go in here. We want to make sure we're oriented the right direction. We know our pickups over in the right rear, our fuel fills on the left rear, it's the front of the cell, there's our, our uh, fuel hose. So we get our one inch wrench, the, uh, the pickup line goes right in the center of the, the cell. We want to make sure this pickup line is not in a Okay, now I have to make sure my holes are still kind of lined up and my gaskets and bladder. Okay, next step is I'm going to put this on. Now, this is the front of the truck, so the fuel fill is over here. We're going to put our hose on right here, one inch wrench. We've got to make sure the hose is tight and that it's not in a bind. It doesn't want to loosen up. That's why we got it kind of trapped in the foam here. So we want it pushed up there like that, but we don't want it twisting over like that, yep. twisting over like this, all right? And anytime you got an AM fitting, they go on dry, you want to put just a little, little dab of grease in them. Nuggets. We're gonna take this back apart because I'm gonna do this in front of NASCAR on Friday. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but I just want to show you how it's done. So then, there are bolts. We're gonna start a handful of them. We want to make sure they get started. The first couple are hard to start. Sure they don't cross through it. <laughs> any any resistance on them, and uh, uh, take them back out. Yep. I'll try again. No, no, go ahead and put that in. But any resistance on it, and we'll. Try to restart it. You feel good? Okay. Yeah, go ahead and tighten down a couple of them. Uh, now, these have plastic washers on the inside of them. This is plastic washer. 
So you can't tighten this too tight or you'll just squash the plastic. So basically you, what we do is, uh, we're not going to put them all in today, but if we were putting them all in, we put them all in, we'd snug them, then we'd go back and a little extra torque all the way around and do them all the way around until we felt good about it. They're going to torque on like 10 or 12 foot pounds. It's going to be very small torque. All right. All right. Very good. All right. Let's go take that back apart and we'll 